Welcome to these additional episodes of Your Pregnancy Week by Week. We're going to provide information about things you may want to know about before baby's birth and in the weeks and months after baby arrives. Dr. Glade Curtis and I hope these discussions will help you and your partner settle into your new roles as parents. The information in these episodes is a general informative guide. None of the information we provide is intended to replace, countermand, or conflict with the advice given to you by your own doctors. Always follow his or her advice. Use the information you learn here as a starting place in your dialogue to help you put your life with baby and after pregnancy concerns, questions, or interests into words. Each episode will cover one topic. Our discussions are intended to help guide you through the many new experiences awaiting you. So let's get started on this discussion. We're going to talk about maternity clothes basics. Today, many pregnant women wear their regular clothes for as long as possible and don't buy a lot of maternity pieces. However, maternity clothes may become necessary as you move through pregnancy. Today's maternity clothes are stylish. There are plenty of great styles available. The main goals in choosing clothes are comfort and room to grow. We suggest you don't buy a lot of clothes unless you need them for work or other occasions. Try to borrow clothes from friends or relatives and check out resale and thrift shops for gently worn items. Consider the weather where you live. Will you need different clothes for the changing seasons? And consider after baby is born. Many women find maternity clothes can do double duty and are very comfortable after birth until you start to get back in shape. Buy basic pieces in complementary colors you can mix and match. Choose items to wear in many ways, like a top that can be worn with pants or skirts or over your bathing suit. Select pieces you can use for work and leisure. It's probably a good idea to have a couple of dresses to wear during the day that you can dress up for night. Accessories can always change up an outfit. Be sure you have a couple of pairs of good shoes. Good choices include ones that expand if your feet swell and get bigger. Some flats with a strap you can loosen might fit the bill. Avoid high heels. Your center of gravity may change, so keep heel height to one and a half inches or less. You may be able to adapt some of your regular clothes as you move through pregnancy, such as wearing longer blouses, tops, cardigans, and jackets. You can also buy a pregnancy belt to extend your regular jeans and pants. Underwear is important. Maternity hose might be a necessity if your doctor recommends them. Buy underpants with a cotton crotch for comfort and good hygiene. Buy some good pregnancy bras. Select ones with wide straps that don't put pressure on back muscles. A sports bra with a racer back might be a good choice. Consider bras you can also use for nursing if you're going to breastfeed. Buy these after 35 weeks of pregnancy. Avoid underwire bras because the wire can put pressure on your breast causing discomfort. If you breastfeed, it may lead to an increased risk of a blocked milk duct or mastitis. So what should you look for? Fit should be at the top of your list. Adjustable waist pants, skirts, and shorts are a good choice. So are ruched front dresses and tops. Be sure you have enough room to grow. Clothing that is tight in early pregnancy may not fit later. Think beyond pregnancy. It's great when a piece of maternity wear can be used after baby's arrival. Bras serve a double purpose when they can also be used for nursing. Many cute maternity dresses and tops also have openings for breastfeeding. Buying these items extends your wardrobe and your budget. More bang for your buck. Where can you find maternity clothes? Well, try a department store or specialty maternity stores. Shopping online is always easy. Check out used clothing stores that carry maternity clothes. You might also consider renting clothes if you need something for a special occasion. It's up to you to decide when to start wearing maternity clothes. We say wear your regular clothes as long as they're comfortable. Most women can wear regular clothes for quite a while. Around 16 to 20 weeks, you may have to start wearing larger clothes. Most women have definitely switched to maternity wear by 24 weeks of pregnancy. Do some research before you start building your maternity wardrobe. Check out the clothes you already have. 
See which ones you can wear as you get bigger. When it's time to buy things, decide what items you'll really need and go from there. Make a list of what you'll need, see what you can borrow or buy gently used, then add pieces as you need them. Have fun! If you would like further information, check out our book, Your Pregnancy Week by Week. You may also want to check out our book for partners, Your Pregnancy for the Father-to-Be. If you want to find out more about our podcast, visit our website, yourpregnancyweekbyweek.com. Looking for something specific? Check out the podcast topics list. It lists topics covered in each weekly pregnancy episode and our Let's Explore More segments. Follow us on social media for updates, new podcast episodes, and important information. Visit Your Pregnancy Week by Week, all one word, on Facebook and Instagram.